grace and peace of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, give her our every good gift. Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I read from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own uses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Amen. To the Lord belongs the earth, and all that fills it. The lords of the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that is in it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. For the Lord belongs to pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. 
Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. And then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Christians, do you know who you are? Your mission in life, your mission on this earth, flows from your identity. So in today's first reading, St. Paul is building on what he said yesterday about not being attached to any one teacher, whether it be Apollos or Cephas or himself. As Christians, the Corinthians, as well as us, we are to pledge our allegiance to Jesus. Any true teacher or preacher will lead us closer to Jesus and the church they found, not to themselves. As St. Paul also says to the Corinthians, he says to us, as Christians, your, your great dignity consists in this. Everything belongs to you. All that is true, all that is good, all that is beautiful, all that draws you to Christ is yours for the taking. Cling to those things which draw you to the Lord. The reason to live this way is for you to receive the words spoken to St. Peter as, for, as directly addressed to you. Be not afraid. I know your sins and your weaknesses, and I'm still calling you to work with me to catch human beings. The deepest waters we can cast our nets into reside in the depths of the human heart. Jesus is why you're here. Not for me, not for Father Billy. Christ has called you to live a holy life, to be a witness of his love to others, so that they can come to know his love for them, so that they can be saved from a life of slavery to sin, to be invited like you and I to put aside worldly things, those things, which, those things which distract us from the love of God and knowledge of his ways. This could mean supporting our brothers and sisters in Lake Charles who are suffering after being hit by Hurricane Laura. This could also mean reaching out to those struggling to deal with the difficulties of the coronavirus pandemic, those who are fearful with the turmoil in our country. Through these actions, we can communicate to those around us that no matter the circumstances, we as Christians know that God is with us in the midst of all of us, that any evil that he allows, he can bring good from it. At the same time, like St. Peter, be not afraid to admit when you fall short, to admit your sinfulness at the beginning of every Mass, in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. In this way, you can prepare your heart to receive all the graces He wishes to give you in the Eucharist, to become the men and women He's calling us to be. Christians, know who you are. Men and women redeemed by the blood of the Lamb poured out on the cross. Your mission is to be transformed by His love for you, so that with the Mass yourself, you and I can become the fishers of men and women that he calls us to be. Bishop Gregory Amen, Bishop Fern and Cherie for all of our priests, 
our deacons, for our villages. We pray too for all of our seminarians and those who may be contemplating this call of studies. We pray to the Lord. We pray, Lord, for our president and leaders of governments throughout the world in these difficult times. We pray for peace among nations, for the safety of our troops, our police, first responders, and those in the front line of medical care on a daily basis. We pray to the Lord. The Lord we pray, Lord, indeed, for our principal, vice principal, staff members, teachers, and students here at St. Han. And we pray, indeed, for the safety of all those who may be traveling in these coming days as we approach Labor Day weekend. We pray to the Lord. The Lord we pray, Lord, for those that we bring here in our hearts and minds prayerfully especially maybe those who are sick in any way, maybe those in hospital or those in recovery from a surgery, that they may grow strong in mind, body, and spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Palm Sucker for the Lord's protection always, especially in this time of hurricane season, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Anne, St. Joachim, Blessed Francis, and your seat. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual joy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
made holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you I need of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of Mystery of faith. Save our Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and all by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. A thy kingdom come, a thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all this stress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
this morning, I invite you to pray with me the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in to my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.